sick! You're insane! You're not thinking straight! You're right! I am sick! I'm sick of you not being there for us! We need you. I need you. When was the last time you slept with me? <laughs> Christ, when was the last time you even touched me? Do you know what that does to me? To, to know that my own husband is disgusted with me? Well, excuse me if I've been too busy working my ass off trying to provide for this family. But no, you're right. It's much more important to whisper sweet nothings in your ear. You call that work? You you lock yourself in there for hours, days. You you come out looking like shit, stinking of booze and stale piss. That's all right, honey. Something got into Mommy's eye, that's all. You be a good little girl and go to sleep. Daddy's working, so we can't disturb him. Mommy has to go downstairs and take a bath. More than a wife, she was first and foremost his muse. Her beauty and talent drove him. After the accident, she became a burden, a disgusting monster screeching out from her bed, an anchor weighing him down. All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen.
Now, where was it? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet... <clears throat> princess! Keep looking at me! Look at me! Do you want this story to have a happy ending or not? Oh, god damn it! Not again! Fine! Because the princess wouldn't stop fidgeting, she was set upon by the evil witch's minion and dragged off into the darkness, never to be seen again. The end. My fault. It was always my fault. All I had to do was stay still. Day after day, for hours on end. Until he would finally get it right. I've lost count of how many attempts there were, but each one made me feel like I was his greatest failure. So, after all this time, after all I've been through... Stay here. Your mother and I need to talk. This is all you have for me? And of all places, you chose this room. You think I don't hear that? Stop crying! Don't make me come in there! So many memories. This... this one room... Filled with more memories than I can count. I thought I told you to be quiet! Oh, the lovely memories. I imagined him standing there, all smug and pleased with himself, thinking this piece of canvas was somehow going to fix everything. I imagined what I would say to him, what I would do. My daddy. Shouldn't have. 